Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Loop Hero on Steam with me, Jalanon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. Just double-checking there's nothing we don't want to build right now. We built a watchtower last time. I was debating saving up for the library more, but we've also got, like, the war camp and the lumberjack to save up for. So, lumberjack, what we mostly need is the stable metal and food. So I think what we'll do is we're going back to the warrior anyway. Let's get some wheat fields. Do I care about the ruins? Hmm. Get rid of the blood grove for now. Forest is fine. Desert we don't want. Because we want our attack speed to go up, but not theirs. The meadows are helpful to us as the warrior. Hmm. So, yeah. Oh, wait, I'm. No wonder. I'm in the wrong tab. I forget I have tabs now. Uh, get rid of the wheat fields for this one. Do I want the blood grove on the necromancer? Hmm. It worked out okay. Sort of. <laughs> Back to our warrior tab. There we go. Okay, so village, wheat fields. Probably don't want to do the cemetery. Might be able to do this with the mosquito. Hmm. We could take the forest, even if it's just for generating more stable branches. That's an option. Hmm. Got the meadows. We could get chrono crystals to try and make the meadows better. There are other interactions with chrono crystals that I don't know off the top of my head. Rat wolves are kind of our worst enemies, honestly. <laughs> hmm. Spiders. Maybe. Yeah, I think something like this could work. The only problem with this is the uh, counter-attacking wood folk that we could find. Uh, the warrior should be okay-ish against that. Maybe. Maybe we just don't overdo the forest. Hmm. Well, we will go in and try this out. First... An ancestral crypt. And then I should really put on all my equipment, huh? Yeah, we'll take 9% evasion for the moment. And I'll think about where to place this rock. Hmm. Rock, where do I want you? This seems like a good area. Put that there. Spider cocoon. There's not like great places for the spider cocoon other than like right here. I think we do that. Put you over here. We get the battlefield early, which is nice. Hopefully that will translate into better gear shortly. Shortly, shortly. If not, we will be sad. Think I have clicked out of my window. There we go. All right, all right. Hmm. There we go. Forest. Where do I want you? I don't think it changed by the mountains, did it? Well, I can put it by the spider cocoon. Will that change anything? No. Not right now, anyway. Hmm. Maybe we need a thicket. It's thicker. Hmm. Hmm. Vampire Mansion, sure. We'll risk it for a biscuit right now. And I may regret everything shortly, but... For now... We're doing okay. Now, we haven't taken too much damage or anything, so that worked out just fine. Ruins, ruins. Put you up here for now. Get another vampire mansion over here. I'll probably put a spider cocoon around here, though. Or over here. Or over here. Yeah. So. I think those are all better spots, so yeah, we'll do this. And I'm saving the chrono crystals for when we have more meadows. More meadows. Okay, we have some bats. Oh, 
Alright then. Two kilo. Let us continue on. Ruins, 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 ruins. I could put you over here. That would be really bad with the vampire and everything, though. So... Over here would be fine. We could still do the village and the wheat field. Or village, wheat field. Do, do. Yeah, that's still fine. Okay. That's my current plan. Hmm. I think we're still fine with what we've got going on at the moment. I don't really feel the need to switch out my uh, treasures or inventory. Put you right here. Put you over here. I think we can afford to spawn one of those woodman villages. Probably. Road Lantern. Where do I want you? Probably by the spiders. It's more of our craziness. Hmm. This gets more road tiles than up here. That's why I'm doing the sides, I think. Hey, there's our watchman. Crossbowman. Damage 5, attack per second. 1. That's why you want more of them than just one if you can. Okay. That is a better weapon. Ring. A ding ding. Off we go to find the thing. No new thing. Alright. Got some more tiles. Another thicket. Made by the vampire mansion. Does that change anything? Nope. So thick, not even a single... Well. Didn't get to read it all. Not even a single sunbeam can pierce it. Only the fastest can survive here. Okay. Get another spidery cocoon over here. They shouldn't be able to help each other. Okay, that's actually perfect. We don't want them to stack high. We got more thickets. In fact, you know what? I should probably do thickets over forests. Try to just discard the forest, I think. Uh, no, nothing different there. Alright. We wait yet again. Hurry up and wait. Okay, level 1 axe. I've seen worse. Hmm, attack speed though. Straight up defense, but it's not much, so I will wait. One small. Okay, once again, I think I won't place the normal forest tiles if I can help it. So we will wait. So we're not looking to put down too many of these. They're a decent boost. But not exactly everything we need is the warrior. Okay. Let's hope we destroy this scorch one. Before it... No, okay. No. We tried. Schlein plus artillery fire equals devastation. To me. I didn't like it. Oh, we got a dinner table though out of it. So maybe that was worth it. Huh. I think I prefer defense, but they're really not that different, so I will save it as possible stable metal since that's what we want the most anyway. Ooh. Wait, that's just better. Okay. Uh, we continue. Well, we took out one of those scorchy worms. What do you have for me? Dominant mass. Damage is increased by 20% of defense, so we would be looking for defense. We'd probably only get like 6 damage out of it by the end, though. So it's not super good. Region is doubled isn't bad when your HP is below 30%. Let's take Blade of Dawn. I just, I like it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's probably not that good, but I like it. Hmm. Do I want to risk another vampire? This is increased. Sure. Does that change my crypt? No. It's probably for the best. Thank you, Crossbow. Alright, that's what we're looking for, vampirism. More vampirism. I want to amp up. There's our Blade of Dawn against these spiders. Not half bad. The problem is the timing doesn't always work out. Okay, more vampirism. Yeah. Okay. I think that'll work just fine. Still looking for like a treasury. Because we've got a bunch of meadows we can place down. Ugh, but not much else we can do with that. 
Yeah, mountain. And go there. I know it's a little suboptimal like that, but I don't want to mess up the big peak placement. Okay. I just love to. Okay. Blade of Dawn against a solitary slime. There we go. And now we continue. Okay, Scorchworms. Let me Blade of Dawn your face. Or not. Uh, hopefully we can save it for the next group, actually. Okay, well we KO'd two of them. That's not half bad. There's actually more vampirism and damage. I take it. This... Not more vampirism. Counter better than attack speed? I think not. Attack speed's better when we have vampirism. Blade of Dawn! Ah, oh, we missed the bats, though. They appeared after my blade. Smart of them. Okay, so we will place a wheat field that we cannot... Never mind. Hmm. Future treasury over there. Oh, right, Chrono Crystals can only go by the road. Hmm. Where can I place a meadow? So if I do Chrono Crystal over here. And then a meadow here. That does become a blooming meadow. That should double this. It only works in the tiles around it, right? That's still like four? Yeah, it's still. Oh, and because that's by a We can turn meadows into blooming meadows with just forests and thickets and stuff. Okay. Well, one idea has been shared. Ah, oh, they both escaped. Man. Scorchworms, come on. You're doing your best to kill me over here. I don't appreciate it. Okay, good. We didn't waste Blade of Dawn on the treasure chest yet. I don't think we care about the... Okay, well, at least we get out some spiders with it. But not these ones. Unfortunately. Eh, we're still working our way through them. Vampirism is helping us keep our HP high. Which is good. I think I can afford to do that. Okay. Continue. Another wheat field that we don't have a village for yet. <sighs> Too bad we couldn't get the early ransacked village, but honestly, those ghouls might have killed me. Still would have been worth trying, just to see what kind of strength we'd need for that to actually work. Uh, I don't think they double-double. Wait a second, if I put this by the battlefield, does that mean we get two treasure chests? No. Oh. Hmm. Okay, and battlefield turns that into a blooming meadow as well. Not terrible. I mean, it could be bad for us if something dies by the battlefield and then, you know, they spawn blood clots and things to kill us. That wouldn't be the best thing ever. Alright, ooh, more shield. Defense and vampirism, yes. That's just straight up what I want. Thicket! Okay, so we do want to be able to place a treasury down in the future. We can put one there. It looks like we can still kind of go all along there. Uh, so this should be fine? Yeah. Okay. And then we have two meadows. Could place one here. I still want to put mountains over there, so yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Blade of Dawn! Okay. That was pretty useful. But they all escape. Oh my god. Okay, we might need a road lantern here in the future, if we can afford to. Honestly, we might be approaching a point where road lanterns just aren't worth it. Hmm. 
I wonder. Oh, I don't have my Blade of Dawn anymore. Because it only works once a day. Oh, well. We're doing just fine with our tanking. Thanks to vampirism. And being up close and personal. Because this is an archer. It doesn't like being in close contact. Uh, hmm. This is just extra stats. Okay. We like that. There's a goblin camp. I don't like that. If I could put a village card right here. Does that... No, my blade of dawn. Oh, well. It was a mimic, so... Not a waste. Wow, that mimic deals damage. Hmm. Counter and evasion. I would lose some vampirism, but that seems potentially worthwhile. Hmm. I'll do it for now. Just because it also gives us some stats and things, so we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Still getting a few vampires. Oh, there's a village, finally. But we're probably going to get rid of one of these wheat fields, and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I think discarding the force will probably give us what? Staple branches? No, no, no. That's the Book of Memory stuff, that's right. Okay. That was, yeah, Memory Fragments. Okay. But now we can have a village. Uh, I could put this here. That would protect us from goblins, pop it out here, but they could probably still pop out here. Hmm. Where do I need a village in the future? I could try to ransack one, but that seems foolhardy, shall we say? Hmm. Can I hit the goblin and... No, it's clearly on the other tile now. All right. Well, we thought about it. Hmm. <laughs> could put metals and stuff down here. Interesting idea. Yeah. I'm a little worse for wear at the moment. Hmm. Anything else I really want to do then? That's not the worst. We get more slimes. We get some better meadows. And a few resources, like food, which we do want as well. Okay. Continue. Thank you. All right. Do that. And a thicket. We might get... I think this is our seventh forest style, so I think this gives us that uh, woodlands thing. No? Okay. Maybe you think it's Dunkow? cow? Because it's not a forest? I'm not sure. Okay. Onward we will go. And once there are two gabos, we will probably just oblivion them. Okay, damage to all counter. We lose vampirism, but we kind of need the damage. Let me get more vampirism out of this one. I'm losing a lot of vampirism, though. I'm down to 19%. I don't like it. But we are healing faster. So, that is a bonus. Almost done with the big peak. I could surround the treasury with forest, but we'd rather do some meadows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Level 4 shield, that is only one more defense without vampirism. Yes. We know what we're up to. And it will be glorious. Okay. The encounter is helping us get through some of these enemies faster. That's good. Hmm. Ah, another thing. Um, let's see. If I put this in the middle, we can make two blooming meadows rather than just one. So I will do that. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of goblins. Uh, can I oblivion you before you're technically out? I think not. Curses. Okay. I was hoping to get another dark slime, but oh well. Is that a thicket? It's a thicket. Uh, I should have not done that yet, but oh well. Mountains. Hmm, that would make a big peak right there, so I don't want to do that. I do that. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, I'll just have to build my next treasury not as close as I'd hoped. Okay, thankfully we still have the vampirism, but ooh. Getting a little worse for wear here. Their damage is outpacing our health and region. That not great. Okay, well we're definitely putting a village here. Okay, there's a bandit camp at the end. That's also not great. I think I do have to look in that. Wheat fields here. Treasury here. Trait. Somersault. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during evade. Good if you can get a bunch of evasion. We only have 9%. Uh, we probably want Treasure Hunter. 5% chance for a treasure chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy. Do that. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get Scarecrows eventually, but it's going to be a bit of a problem. But for now, let's... Oh my goodness. Only one of them went down. Hmm. Region per second versus Vampirism. That might be better. At this point, with our... Eensy weensy Vampirism. Okay. Hmm. Alright, oh, the goblin became a... Goblin leader? Oh, oh, that's terrible. Take out the vampire bears! Take out the vampire bears! Oh no. Well, goblin leader, if we can kill it, that's actually fine. That way it doesn't enrage. Ooh, we get a treasure chest too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do we get out of that? Level 4, that's pretty good. Yeah. Straight up better. Uh, ring. Ring a ding ding. One region per second, we lose counter and evasion. I think we're pretty happy at the moment. Ah, you do appear. It's like every ten, maybe? Why did I think it was seven? Maybe it has to be seven of each one? Interesting. So, we might be fine, we might be terribly, terribly in danger. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Okay. Moving on, double goblin with artillery fire. This could be the end. Thank goodness we have a ancestor script. Okay, a Dirk. 17 to 25. 10% evasion? Uh, I think we keep our counter at the moment. Okay, you worms. Please just. Yeah. Go back to gardening or something. You know? The gardens could use your help. Hey, that means they all died, I think. Yeah, okay. The treasure chest only spawns on a killed enemy. I wonder if that affects their 40% escape chance at all. It probably doesn't, but that'd be interesting. Okay, so... What do I want now? Another meadow? Another meadow. Yeah. Here's that scarecrow. So wide swing. 30% of creatures' damage is dealt to all things on the battlefield, which is why this is not great for the Necromancer. Pretty much fine for the Warrior. Uh, we can get attack speed and counter instead. We don't have Vampirism right now at a meaningful level. So, do our switch. It's also more damage. Yeah, okay. We don't have Invasion at a meaningful level either, to be honest. More ruins? I really don't want more ruins with these Scorch Worms. They're already a bit of a problem. Okay, let's see how well we do against this guy. I think we've already met. Out of the way, I need to... Wait a minute, why do you look like me? I am your biggest fan. The trees spoke so much about you. They even made me in your honor. I would be glad to get out of your way, but I'm afraid I can't walk. You see... I've grown here, literally. I see. Cut me down, cut me down. I don't want to put you to work, but it's really the only way. But cut harder, because I'm going to fight back. What? I'm very sorry, but the forest saw how you fight, so it's a part of me now. Believe me, I don't want to hurt you, but I can't go against the will of the forest. If you say so, is this a good place to cut? Okay. Poor tree man. Wooden warrior. Uh, we're doing okay. 
I think our defense was pretty helpful there. Well, I didn't expect this kind of gratitude from the world for remembering it. Just as I didn't expect such a nice conversation from a piece of wood. He was a nice guy. May his ashes rest in peace. Or his centers. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, vampirism back. Sure. Uh, is this better? That is vampirism. It has the same amount of defense. We have a little bit of regen per second. This has more defense but less vampirism. So, we go with more vampirism, I think. Alright, so it seemed like we were okay against one wooden warrior, but we did take a hundred damage because of the counter effect and all that. Hmm. So yeah, I don't think we place any more forest cards. Try to let those become memory fragments, basically. Uh, we can do. Uh, hold on, uh, but thicket though. It's so good. Put that there. We can afford to place a few more, right? Okay. It was like every ten. We're golden. We're golden. Meadow. Okay, so the next one we'll unlock a gargoyle, which we may or may not want to do, because the warrior can't really do damage super quickly. The thing has impenetrable in this act. Hmm. I don't really want to place this here, do I? We want to get the treasuries as close as possible, in theory. And I don't think I want the gargoyle yet. Alright, slime. It is time to rest. In small little pieces. But hopefully don't try to eat me anymore. Hmm. There's not a really safe place for this battlefield, huh? <laughs> I mean, this one's already not that safe, thanks to that wooden village. Uh, I suppose this is as safe as can be. And it shouldn't get affected too much by the Chrono Crystals. Right. Right. Okay. Continue. I'm looking for stuff. Do spiders have stuff? Apparently so. Hmm. Okay. I'll let people go. Ah, make it done used. Okay, well, I've got a thicket. What would I want you? I guess anywhere, really. I'll put you there. By the mountain. Didn't change. Okay. Ah, we can finish this. Finally. Okay. So, 561 HP is what we got. I feel like we should have more HP by now. Like, a lot more. Hmm. Weird. I think we might have an HP debuff or something in Act 2. Hmm. I've just been placing mountains really poorly. Which, you know, certainly possible. I think we will go ahead and replace that spear. Ring, nope. We'll do that. Um. Then we will hopefully be able to get some more memory fragment pages. Okay. Ooh, we're level seven. Ah, great. Uh, did I lose deep vampirism? Yeah, that's worth it. We need more HP and stuff. Hmm. Dirk any? No, we don't need that. Huh, yeah, it's like my HP didn't move with like that. Weird. Hmm. Is there something I'm not understanding here about my HP? Oh, level 7. Ooh, attack speed, though. Yep. Okay. Are the mountains not as good here for some reason? Hmm. Well, here's a lot of wooden warriors. This will probably hurt us a lot. Can I blade of dawn in time? 
That was helpful. But it did do a ton of damage to us. Hmm. I don't have any sand dunes or anything to decrease my HP. Hmm. Don't think I'm going to oblivion these wooden warriors just yet. Maybe I'll wait a bit. I really do need more HP. So I will put these rocks here even though I don't quite want to. We're going to be close to getting another goblin camp, so I'd like to save the Oblivion for that. Hmm. Okay, I don't think the level 4 ring is going to give any huge bonus. Oh wait, level 9. It is 20% attack speed, but we lose 11% of vampirism. You know what? We do it. We have a lot of attack speed now. 62%. Not bad. That helps us get through these spiders as well when they do that webbing technique. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and put down a meadow here because we might need to run away. Hmm. Oh, is it the Ancestor's Crypt? Removes the HP bonus from all armor. Right. This is not the card we want for the warrior. <laughs> What we want for the warrior is like the arsenal, I think. Kitchen knife. So we want the intel center and all that. Hmm. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, we, we definitely have looking there. Okay. Once again, I could have tried to wait for a goblin to appear, but we're about to head into several larger battles. So I doubt we can really finesse our timing well. Okay. So far, so good. Meadow. Did you get me any food? No, maybe? Hmm. Alright, we need like two more whole food fragments. Or pieces, or whatever you want to go. Hmm. Gargoyle time. Hmm. I don't think we need any more spider cocoons. Okay, level 7 shield. Evasion? Nah. Hmm. Nope, I think we're happy with what we've got. There's the Blade of Dawn. Doing some work. Hmm. Seems like everybody's getting a little dodgier. Okay. Each time the hero passes through a tile, supplies. I think. I think we go with supplies, since we're probably going to be leaving anyway. Since I can't get enough HP for the warrior to probably survive a boss fight. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, Ancestor's Crypt. Yep. Yep. I totally forgot about that lack of HP bonus from armor. We'd be at 1200 HP right now, at least. This is a slightly better shield in the ways that we care about, I think. Attack speed. Hmm. Could go attack speed warrior. Alright, get me another gargoyle. Start! Ooh, a treasure. We have all these nice forests and things, but for now, we continue. Interesting, I think. Did I go into battle so fast that it couldn't give these guys the quest goal? No, I just gave it the slime. Okay. Just double check it. Hmm. Blade of Dawn. Good work. Alright then. Looping hero of Loop Hero. What should we do next, eh? Put on that shield. Hmm. This is attack speed. It's also evasion. Nah, I don't think we care. We've got a bunch of meadows. Put that right there for now. Harpy. Hmm. Okay, we're attacking fast enough it wasn't that big a deal. Okay, Scarecrow. Yeah, it's literally these wooden warriors that are giving us the most issues right now. Huh. I think we'll be able to survive okay. 
Okay, Super Spider is now there. Let's see how much damage we take. Okay! Is there a Thorns Aura get worse? 32 damage? I think it did upgrade. Oof. We need that vampirism right now. Ah, oh, but the Gladius, though, is just pure damage. I think we don't do that, though. Alright, there's another thicket. We can probably get away with one more. And I think that's it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to see if we can't, you know, survive. Here we go. At least we're attacking fast enough, we're kind of keeping our HP where it needs to be. Okay. And now... Yeah, we gained HP on that fight. So against slimes, we're doing okay. Well... Hmm. I think we're okay. Continue. Alright. More stuff we don't need at the moment. Well, it'll help our metal. Continue. Go all right then. We're almost healing back what they're hitting us for. That's not the worst. We'll continue. I want to try to discard a few more cards for stuff. And yeah, we don't need the battlefield, do we? No. I do kind of want to place down the rock. Okay. Now, countered. Okay. Oh, well, we've got 780 health. We're attacking so quickly, maybe we don't need more health. Huh. I wonder. Would this be good enough for the boss? I'm kind of doubting it at the moment. But who knows? Okay, and here's the gargoyle. We are attacking fast enough that it's basically fine. So we don't get any HP bonuses from our armor. So we might as well just go for the other things it gives us. So, yeah. Now I realize the mistake I've been making. So we want, like, enchanted armor and stuff. Ooh. Defense regen per second seems better than what I've got right now. Counter chance. But region per second, though. But counter chance, okay. Hmm, attack speed, evasion. Those aren't bad, but I think we want to keep our 21% vampirism instead. Since we're attacking so quickly, that seems like a better plan. Hmm. There's still room for a treasury down here. So it doesn't really matter if I place this heal or not. Alright. And now we continue! Okay, Harpy. There we go. Continue. Blade of Dawn, the singular slime. Yes, the timing is no longer quite working out for us that well. <laughs> oh, well. Hmm. Could place down the ruins if I'm about to leave. We'll wait. We'll wait a little bit. But I'm thinking about it. Wait, does Scarecrow get vampirism from you? Hmm. Okay. Oh, another road lantern, finally. Well, that might have been good once upon a time. But now I just kind of want to throw everything away. So, I'm going to use you to fill the hand instead. Let's continue. Probably not going to need Blade of Dawn, so hopefully we won't need to use it here. Yep, okay. Hmm. Damage. Evasion, not vampirism. Man. So that's more defense. Oh. Uh, meadow. Very good. Hmm. I'll place it over here, so hopefully we can get a few more things. These are a few. My favorite things. Stable metal. 
stable branches, books of mineral leaves, etc. etc. And we continue. Ah, escaping state, man. Come on, guys. I need you to work with me. Okay. Well, defense region of a second. No. Hmm. Some more damage, but no. All right. We don't have too much left to do, I think, before we head for the hills. Hmm. Attack speed ring. Yeah. We're good. I think... Oh, we got six food. I think we needed eight food. Got a bunch of metal. Oh, we have been dropping off 10% of our stuff constantly. So you know what? We might have made... What do we want? Let's go check. What can I build? Alright, we can get the smelter. Finally. Mud hut. Warehouse, we need more of you. Hmm. For expansion. We can make more watchtowers. We can make the library. Oh, joy. It's my happy place. Okay, expansion for the intel center. The librarians can decipher the information and expand your knowledge of the world. Allows you to unlock additional pages of the encyclopedia in exchange for books of memories. Unlocks the bookery card, which is how you get vampire rages and stuff. Unlocks the maze of memories golden card if the intel center is built. Ooh. I do want an arsenal though. Uh, is that from the smelter? Yes. Okay. Oh no! I have to build it over other things. Can I remove my butt hut? No, I have to build it on the field right now. Okay. Fine. There we go. Yar har har. What a nice smelting barrel. Throw in some more coal. Scrap metal away. Hey, lad. You know the secret of sturdy armor? It's the sturdy body beneath it. Ahar! I can make everything sturdier. Even a simple shirt or some socks. Whatever it takes your fancy. You'll travel far under these sails. No storm will stop you. And you know why? Because the storm will be on your side, laddie. Okay. So that's probably good news. Oh, we can still build a library too. And another forest. Okay. A library. Uh, 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 library. Put you over here for now. Ah, oh, this pleasant smell of cellular sheets and dried ink. The smell of books, to put it simply. Look at us. I am a scientist. Knowledge is my weapon. You are a traveler. Your weapon is a weapon. Ahem. And yet, in spite of all the differences, we both pursue the same goal. To study and recover the world. Theory, knowledge, learning. We shall discover this world anew, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. And can I build oh, one more thing? Okay, no, we can't get the alchemist tent yet. And I lost one of those orbs. Got it. Hmm. Unlocks alchemy, the ability to craft jewelry if the supply depot is built. Unlocks the zero milestone curve. Hmm. Doesn't look like I need to build this by anything. Specifically. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. We got some good progress this episode. We have a refuge, campfire. In Daniel Center. Maybe I. I probably don't need to destroy anything, right? That would be just sad. Hmm. Okay. Supply. We have some more things. Dinner table. So, additional healing when passing through the campfire seems good. More preserved pebble while passing through the campfire. Oh, these are all locked. Yeah. So we need more mud huts and stuff built. Very food item placed in your camp. Stall vampires. 5 HP at the start of each day. Max HP. Let's get rid of max HP for kitchen. Okay. So, yeah, we can only afford that many slots at the moment. Let's check out crafting real fast. Yeah, we don't have enough. Okay. Well, we do have that. Encyclopedia. We have all the villages and things. Goblin camp. Goblin Lookout. That's a goblin archer to battles on adjacent tiles. Even swamps aren't enough to get rid of goblins. They can 
get used to anything. So you don't want a swamp and a goblin camp. If you can help it, bandit camp. Hmm. Crown crystals, do you have anything new for me? No. Hmm. Okay. Ziggurat. Hmm. So the thicket. The Maquis. Alright, where's that? Hmm. Witch's Palace. Every palace increases Lich's HP and damage. Hmm. Where is the thing talking about these wonderful wooden villages? Anything? Ah, village. There it is. Okay. Appears on the road for every ten forest thicket tiles. Yeah, it's every ten. Okay. Well, we figured that out. Cool. We have a bunch of stuff here. Wooden warrior. Alright. Chilling touch upon dying stuns opponent for three seconds per attack. That's oof. Pretty important, actually, to remember. Okay. Well then. I think we'll call that an episode, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Loop Hero. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on what you expect will happen next time. For now, I'm going to remember to do this. That does nothing. Huh. We'll take the arsenal then. Um, hmm. This unlocks an additional equipment slot, which is also pretty important. Yeah, Maze of Memories. Oh no, there's gotta be some hidden interaction with that. Got to be. Storm Temple. Ooh. That's an interesting one. If I remember correctly, you can burn forests with it somehow. The Book of... Hmm. Collapses after it replaces 20 cards. That's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out. Maybe more next time, dear viewer. We'll try the rogue again. And I hope you have a great day, dear viewer.